knowledge is accumulative uh, over time. Knowledge is something that you want to gain in each subject that you're trying to excel in. Now, OCD recovery is obviously quite a resilient thing, OCD. It's kind of like an antibiotic resistant bacteria that's moving around as you go to get it better. So you're going to have to have quite a fair bit of knowledge. So these posts that are sort of like, oh, just thoughts of thoughts, thoughts of meaningless thoughts, sort of, and these books that are just sort of watered down, very basic tools of nothing, of just leaving thoughts there, feel anxiety, that, you know, those things, they're not going to make significant change because they're not providing you with significant knowledge, right? So you can tell, OCD sufferers are very good at telling, you know, whether they're improving over time, whether they've learned a lot. You've got to learn a lot more than you think. You don't need to learn everything, right? You don't need to know all the ins and outs of sensory motor OCD if that you're suffering with health OCD. But you're going to need to know more than you think on OCD in general. And that's the key with everything. Like with a business, you want to be speaking to people who've run businesses, people that have overcome problems with businesses, people that have sustained businesses for long periods of time, in markets that have changed, uh, all different areas that you look at. Don't just look at somebody who's got a YouTube channel and just started in, ten, in, in one month posting things or, or, or anything. Like a lot of relationship advice stuff is just sort of posts that people have, people have thought, oh, that makes sense because I've heard that before, I'll post it, but isn't sustainable. Uh, it, most things in life require long-term work. Most things, and Albert Ellis talks about that, about with love, it maintains, you know, love, the feeling, the sensation of connection, I'm not talking about in relation to ROCD here, then requires sustaining, persistence, uncomfortable feelings, you know, it's that, right? All of this is, is, is a process in life, and that's what OCD recovery is like. And today we've got this culture where everybody is online giving information advice on how to live and how to, how to approach everything. And everything's made simple. If you look up anything about uh, how to make money or anything like that, it's always somebody saying, like, I made a million dollars in one year because I changed this and then my life changed, which is obviously garbage because if it was easy to make money like that, no one would, there would exist no jobs in, uh, in, 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 in the way that the jobs, the amount of people attending normal nine to five jobs would be so low because everyone could just make money easily just from these quick methods. So there's no quick method and that's key. If you hear that with OCD as well, where people are like quick intensive one week course and be better, quick ebook and be better. It's not, that's key, you know, of course, Everyone wants to hear that. Everyone wants to hear, oh, uh, you're going to get better so quickly, so instantly. Everyone wants that. That's what we all want to hear. We want to hear easy, nice, quick, instant. But you can't paint a lie. You can't paint something that's not reality. You've got to paint reality. And everything that I've done and, and to, to, to help people with OCD, I've always just based it on being realistic and telling it how it is. I don't really have much time for nonsense, hype, crap, the stuff that you see today with sort of lots of celebrity culture. It's not me. I wasn't really ever interested in even being sort of public on social media. I was always interested in, I wasn't really interested in that. I was interested in doing things that work, helping people, but I, I didn't really care for a lot of that because I could see so much nonsense in it. And that hype and that stuff is what also keeps people stuck and kept me stuck because of that kind of stuff like oh I did this juice diet and I worked out and I said this mantra in the mirror and then I got over it and I was like that ain't gonna work for chronic anxiety and you read that because when you've got OCD as well what happens is because you think oh my auntie's got anxiety oh this woman said to me her daughter's got anxiety it's very different to OCD so we really like to compare ourselves and say like oh I'm the same as the next person I've got it because we're always trying to make it seem easier for ourselves so we're always, we want to make it like oh yeah I just must be the same as them but we've got to face realistic hard facts in life that if we've got chronic OCD and been suffering for years and it's not been going chances are we're not like that next person now in terms of chronic OCD and the people all around you with chronic OCD, the chance you're like the next person is pretty high, but it's not in the realm of general society where they're like, oh yeah, I've had a panic attack now and again. That's very different to chronic OCD. It's, very, it's like somebody who's living in, who's in a hospital at the moment with very bad asthma and spent months and months in and out hospital versus someone who has an asthma attack once every 20 years. It's very, very different. Now, all of that stuff is key to realize that you're gonna to have to build knowledge. 
You're going to have to be realistic and think about what works for you and what's going to help you and what's going to, how you're going to change your perception to get there. And that's what I always wanted to do. I wanted to be realistic. All I wanted to do was to get better and I wanted to look at what works, what doesn't, how to get under those fears, make that change, make a shift. And that's the same as well um, what we do with OCD recovery. You've got to think about everything in, in, involved in anything involves execution and how you do it right and getting it done people can always talk about oh oh i, I want to do this or this is easy but in reality most things in life involve a lot more complexities than are often looked at and when people are emotional or something and they're like oh that's so easy or i'm just going to go and do this it's it can feel like that uh but in reality the technicalities are very difficult and that's what is the same with ocd recovery it's overcoming challenges you've got to be realistic you've got to be realistic you're going to be tired you're going to be fatigued you're not going to want to read the books you're not going to want to do the work you're going to want to avoid the exposures you're going to have setbacks you're going to find it difficult those are all going to be key parts of the journey